The kingdom of Adunafel still stands. The kingdom of Farasindil still stands. And as long as these kingdoms stand, hope remains. Okay, Dante Kenshi, thank you for the suggestion about getting a diplomat over at Minas Tremak. I totally missed out on that. Let's get a diplomat over here. Get him, send him over to High Elven territory, and maybe the Dwarves of Eredluin as well. Try and get some trade rights with those factions because they should have ports, and we have ports. We should be able to earn quite a lot of money if we get a trade right with those kinds of factions. Okay, Elder Londa. Look at this, we're getting the Nara Nara Royal Guard, we're getting the Numenorean Steel Bows here. Three turns for the Royal Guard and two turns for the Steel Bows. We are getting some elite units, finally. And it shouldn't take too long for the heroes of the Elder Londa Wars to be retrained. The Numenorean Cohort is still alive, three soldiers remaining. Just you wait for three more turns and then you can retrain yourself. What a glorious day. The, this is the situation in the West. Minas Tremak is out. We're in a decent spot at the moment. I mean, we don't have a lot of armies. We cannot move out. We're not in a strong position. We're not strong enough to move out and go aggressively. We're going to have to wait a little while until we can do that. But um, keep gathering strength. We are on the way to gathering enough strength to go on the offensive again. We're not going to do that for quite some time, though. And I should also, Farason, the one with the perfect name, send him out, get some vision. I'm going to visionize this entire territory, the territory of Moorland here. We should absolutely try and do that because we are bordering Dunland here. And they could backstab me. We're not allied to them. No, no we're not. We have trade rights with them though. Uh, they could absolutely attack me, but I don't think they will... As long as we're at war with Enadwyth, I don't think they will attack me. Uh, but we need to get Wishin here, because who knows? They might send an army over there. And if they attack, we're going to have a lot of issues. Get towers. Get towers. All right, that's the west. In the east. We are beseeching San Zanui. And actually, now that I see it myself here once again, I see that we should be able to take it straight away. We could probably attack this army and lure the army out from San Zanui. If we exterminate every single soldier in this army, in this force here, we should be able to just walk into San Zanui and take it. I think we should do that, because then we don't need to wait for nine turns in order for them to sally forth. I think that might be the best thing to do here. Try and attack this army, and hope that these guys move out as well, and joins the fight so that we can destroy them all. Over in the east, the kingdom of Farasindil, we are about to upgrade this place into a stronghold. Two turns remaining for Alcarondos to be upgraded. Romena is going for eco and growth. Try and get that population going. Karas Falazon is going for the military buildings as well. We're going for the guard barracks here. We're likely going to go for the archer range here as well when the guard barracks has been completed. Ondosto is getting the militia garrison. We want to have more free upkeep units in here. This is a frontline region against Dale, so we need to have decent defensive capabilities at this region. At the moment, there seems to be a war raging on with Ruin and Dale, though Vidisith is having quite the army here. But we have Bakr as well. Hopefully they can took it out and weaken each other. That's what we want to happen. And also one more thing. It looks like I did forgot about uh, the... There we go. We have the army here. Thank you for reminding me. Absolutely, we should 100% try and take this army out while they have... We, we shall tr try and take this fleet out while they have an army inside of the fleet. So, attack the fleet. These guys are reinforcing. Hopefully we can win. Let's go. Yes. Thank you. Where did they go? We have one boat over there. Okay, chase after it. Don't let them escape, please. There we go. They have been sunk. Great. How on earth did they get to pass over there, though? Was there, a, like, a, a box, a tile open for them? Is there another ship? They had two ships. Is there another ship in the Sea of Ruin that we haven't spotted? Might be. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? G go back quickly to Karasfaras on retrain the fleet and then block this area again. We don't want them to get fleets through. That was a great. Thank you so much for reminding me about that fleet because now we have sunk a fleet with an army inside, and that's just a great help. Thank you for reminding me. I cannot remember your name. I'm sorry. Um, Hryol, Hryovie, I don't know. It, it, it's tough for me. It sounded like a Balkan kind of name, and I have. A lot of issues trying to pronounce Balkan style names. It's really tough for me. But thank you. You know who you are um, for reminding me. You can comment in this video and I will send some love towards you. Okay. Great. Trade increase for Admiral Aldamir. He is actually pretty decent now. He has. Can we. Yeah, there we go. Six command stars. That's good. Uh, get him retrained. Keep blocking this area. Let the trade flow freely at all times. That's what we need to happen. And yes, Argimil Khan, attack this army. Yes, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Are we about to take Santa Nui this day? I think we might. Lindor, this is the garrison inside of Santa Nui. What we need to do here is to make sure that we kill every single one in this army. Leave no one alive after the fight. And then we should be able to walk in to Santa Nui. Captain Bragla brings a Thorn army with him. No problems there whatsoever. Lindor, well he has some decent units. We have some Elvelin infantry, wine guard, and we have two Elvelin hammer guards as well, these bodyguards, which are pretty damn powerful. But if you look at my army, Alcaronda's Legion, we get to see the Runic Warriors, we get to see the Claw Guard in this fight. We have Ballistas, we have two units of Seafarers of Nindamos. This is a powerful army, we have Gimelkart and Gimelthorn as well. So the King and the, the heir to the Eastern Kingdom is fighting against our winning here. So Lindo, you're about to have a tough day, you're about to have a tough day. Let's go in and let's see if we can take every single soldier out and just walk in to Santa Nui. Well, I don't like the map. I do not like the map one bit. It's a wooded area. I'm not a fan of this at all. Let's see if we can we can maybe fight over there. Uh, when we can fight over there, we could maybe potentially fight over here. We could. Can we form up over here in the corner? Yes, we can form up over here as well. And it looks like this might be a decent position if we can get over to this high ground there. We might have a decent spot. We don't know where they are forming up though, but at least don't fight in the woods. That's something I don't want to do. I really don't want to do it. Frontline force will consist of Runic Warriors, Ravanian Spearmen, the Pikes, the Spears. Uh, those guys are going to be the frontline. The flanking infantry will be the King and the Alcarondas Legion. I'm just gonna do this quickly, just group them up like that. I'm gonna group you guys up like that as well. Uh, archers. We have three of you. There we go. And javelins. You're already kind of grouped up, and the cavalry's grouped up, and we have the ballista. Okay, that's good. Cavalry, get over there. I think we have everyone here now. Yes, we do. Start the battle. Try and take the high ground here. The enemy is in the woods. We have some forces over there. The reinforcements are coming in from here. Okay. Um, try and take this high ground. This is the location. If we can form our infantry up over there. And maybe have the archers over there. We are the ones attacking though. So we need to try and lure them over towards us. Uh, Frontline. Stand somewhere around there. I don't want to fight in the woods. I hate fighting in the woods. Because then you need to zoom in like this. And it's really tough to control your army when you need to do that. Archers, get over here. Stand over there somewhere. Javelins, I don't know, take this position over there. Cavalry, you can walk over somewhere around there. Ballista, take the flank. And flanking infantry, get over there. Let's take a look at these runic forces as well. We have the runic warriors. Look at these guys. They look pretty cool actually, they do. I wonder if they have a visual upgrade. We, don't, we haven't upgraded them yet. And the thing is, 4 attack, 10 defense, that's really good. That's actually decent. And effective against armor. 
212 guys with 4 attack, 10 defense, and effective against armor. They are going to be quite nice to have. And then we also have the cavalry. The runic claw god. And they look a really nice as well, if I do say so myself. They really do. It's going to be nice to use. And the Claw Guard is also a decent cavalry unit with 8 charge. That's not too bad for an early tier cavalry unit. Uh, so we're definitely going to be able to make good use out of those. Super duper happy that we have them. Get into position. Let's see where they're going. Uh, yeah, the reinforcing army is going slowly but surely towards the other army by the looks of things. Yeah, they're just standing still. Um, luckily for us, though, we have a ranged cavalry unit. We might be able to lure them over towards us. Take that off. Let's see if we can start doing some movement with you. I'm going to take this off as well with everyone. To make sure that we don't do any weird shots. I want these guys to use their ammunition as best as they can. If we can get the engagement to this position, then we have a really powerful place to fight them at. This is a powerful position. Yeah, they're over there. We just need to... We, we are the ones attacking, so we need to try and lure them over towards us. Um, if it won't happen, then it won't happen. If it happens, then it happens. And if it happens... We are going to have a cakewalk here, because this is such a strong position that we're having here. Uh, let's move forwards with the Thorn Patrollers, see if we can start harassing them and maybe activate them. Try and make them chase us. That's what I want them to do. They're a bit hidden here in the woods, though. They're not done yet, though. Maybe we should wait. They might come for us. They have done that before in other battles. Uh, they have come for me, so let's wait for them. Wait for them to group up and uh, do whatever they want. They can come against me with uh, one big army. If they want to group up like that, that's fine. Just wait for every unit to get into position. Let's see if they move for me. Yeah, we still have some guys still walking. Are they done with their movement? I th think they might be. And they're not moving. They're waiting for me to do the first thing. Okay. Thorn patrollers. Harass them. Try and get into range. Harass them. Let's see if you can draw them out from this position. This is not a good position. I don't want to attack them here. I do not want to attack them in the woods in this area like this. We're likely going to win if we do that. We should be able to win if we do that because we have the more powerful army. But we're going to take a lot more losses if we attack them in this area. Because I won't be in as great control as I should be. As I would be in this area. It's a huge difference there. Um, thorn patrollers over there. They can fire back. They're firing back against me with something. Wine guard, thorn guard. Crossbows they have over there. Yeah, those crossbows are firing back at me. They're going to destroy me. Thorn patrollers are following after me. We're actually taking some losses here. Let's see if we can draw these guys out. Okay, you know what? Kite away, kite away, kite away. Ah, they have some ranged forces of their own, so they can return the fire. Yeah, we're taking a lot of losses here from their crossbow patrollers. It looks like they're following me, though. Okay, try and kite away over there. Let's see if we can draw these guys over to, to my archers or something. Because, yeah, we, we, we're kind of losing the duel at the moment against these guys. We've taken shots from these guys, we've taken shots from the crossbows over there. No, they're not following me. Let's try from another angle then. We have to try and get them over towards us. They have crossbows though. These crossbows, man, they are going to hurt me. Is there any way for us to get them over to us? We could try and lure them over with the ballista as well. You know what, get the ballista moving as well. See if we can draw them up. But the, ball the ballista will have longer range than their crossbows at least. Crossbow, crossbow, reloading. They're firing the missiles. Okay, kind of way further. 
Uh, Thorn Riders. Can we draw this unit out, maybe? Yeah, they're, they're, they, they can actually reach me from there. Oh, they're destroying my poor, poor Thorn Patrollers here. We're not getting the movement from them that we want. Okay. Yeah, those crossbows, those cheeky cheek crossbows. Let's try and go around all the way over to this unit. Let's see if we can draw that unit out without their crossbows reaching. Ballista, keep going forwards. I want you to try and draw them out. You will at least be able to outrange their units. Okay, you're closing in. Maybe we should be able to at least be out of uh, these guys' range. And still be able to get shots off. What do we have here? Bladesman. Is there any more crossbows looming around here? Okay, we're seeing some movement. We're seeing some movement. Going after my... Uh, yeah, these guys are taking a new position. I'm sorry for this, but I really want to try and lure them over. It's the best thing we can get, do here. Ballista, are you arranged? No, not yet. Elevated infantry. Thorn riders. Where are you headed? Okay, stop. Wait a while. We don't see any crossbows nearby. We might be able to get some harassing shots off. Elevelin Hammer Guard. If we can harass those guys, then I would gladly do so. Cavalry, you're getting closer. You're not getting range. You're now in range. Harass the Hammer Guard. I can... Yeah, we have crossbow. They are definitely in range. They should be in range from there. But they're not firing. They're still idle. They're not firing back at me. So keep this going. We're really close to the hammer guard. These guys are still not firing. Still only idle. Keep going on the hammer guard. There we go. This is a unit we want to fire on. Ballista, you should be quite, you're quite close actually. You're not too far off now. I'm dangerously close to the front lines. Uh, try and go for the closest unit. The thorn crossbows over there. Try and make, try and activate them. And go flaming as well. Well, we're not seeing any type of... Oh, there we go. They're firing back at me. They're going to do massive damage to my poor poor. You're in range. The ballista is in range. Okay. Try and draw them out. Fire to crossbows or whatever. Just try and make them come towards me. Yeah, I know that you're tired, Thorn Patrollers. I'm sorry, but you have to do this. Oh, look. Look at them blobbing up like that. Ballista... Try and get some shot. You can fire from there, okay? Fire whatever you can. Uh, what are you firing against? Okay, the Thorn Riders over there. Ballista. Oh, there's some great shots. Great shots there. Keep going, keep going. Wait for them to come for me. Draw them out. Okay, keep firing, keep firing. They should act eventually. They are usually dust. Oh, level in hammer guard. Yeah, focus the hammer guard with your shots. What is happening now? Thorn patrollers are going after me. I think we might need to kite back. Then, don't want to risk getting out traded again like we did here before. Crossbows or ballistas. Just stop and fire. Oh, are we seeing some kind of movement here? Thorn Bladesmen are moving forwards. Thorn Crossbows, are they chasing after my cab? Just try and lure them over. Try and lure them over to this area. You, yeah, it says that you're in range. Come on. There we go, you're firing now. Good. There we go. Thorn Crossbows, Blades, Cavalry. They seem to be following. I think we're seeing some kind of a reaction now. Yeah, they're moving for me. They're f just going straight into the trap here. Um, archers, fire at will. As soon as you're in range. Ballista, you need to get back. You need to get back. Cavalry, though, you're still going to try and lure them over. Oh, the Ballista might get caught here. Ballista's over there. Where's their closest units? Yeah, they're getting close. Let's see if we can get back with the Ballista. If it get ca caught, then so be it. We have done what we wanted to do. You can, I think you can cut back to the front lines. It looks like they're actually approaching towards me now. No, the cab is moving back. Come on, guys. Do not return home. No, oh, they're returning. Ah. 
so close. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's go for a charge. Let's go for a quick little charge on one of the crossbows. Let's see if we can activate them that way. Really, really want to activate them here. At least they're turning their asses around. Try and get some shots in again. Yeah, this is taking some time. But if we can succeed in drawing them towards us, it's going to be worth it. It is going to be worth the wait. Go for the crossbows over there. You're in range for them. Cavalry is slowly getting in. Let's see if we can just go for a charge here. You're firing your missiles. Thorn crossbows. Let's go. Oh, we did get a charge. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We did get some kills there. Okay, good. Pull out again. Pull out. Yeah, they're activated. Yeah, Thorn Patrollers, you 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 are really okay. The cab is moving forwards now. Firing some missiles on the crossbows over there. <clears throat> Try to kite. Don't run. Walk. Walk a little bit. Ballista, how is it going? Yeah, they're moving with their cab. The cab is now running. Okay, Ballista, I think we need to go back now. If we don't succeed this time, I'm going to move forwards. I will move forward since then, but I think we might be able to succeed. It's so close. They're so they're getting really close. If we can just draw one unit in, I think we should be able to draw everything in. Yeah, they're firing back at me. These guys are exhausted. We're really sacrificing this unit in order for them to follow us. Oh, Thorn patrollers, yeah, keep keep following, keep following. Archers. Hopefully you should be in range soon. <clears throat> and they're firing at my ballista. Gimel Thorn, you should be in range. Yeah, there we go, you're in range. Okay, get back over there now quickly. Ballista, you might die here. You're not in a great position. We're getting kind of beaten. Thorn crossbows are going to get caught here with Archer Fire. Gimel Thorn, as soon as you're in range for the Thorn Patrollers, I want you to focus this unit down. This is maybe the scariest unit that we can... Reach soon. Thorn Guard moving in as well. Yeah, they're moving in now. I think they're moving in. You can support the Archer line and help them. Cavalry move over to this side. Yeah, we have them here. Here comes the next unit. Ballista, try and get your slow asses over to this position. Thorn Patrollers, Thorn Riders, Thorn Guard, Thorn Bladesman. Yes, they're sending it in. They're sending things in. Okay, you are in range for the Thorn Riders. I want you to fire at the Thorn Patrollers. You can reach the Thorn Patrollers. Please harass those guys. And you two. As soon as these guys are in range, we should try and fire at these guys instead. As well. Because they don't have any shields. Cavalry. Let's see if we can maybe try and go for a charge on the Thorn Crossbows on this side. These guys here. Thorn Riders, Thorn Patrollers, okay. Archers, ah, they, they're charging. Well, my Ballista paid the ultimate price, sadly. Not much we can do about that. Try and save some of them. I don't want this unit to be totally annihilated. Try and get out. A yeah, few of you, get out. Yeah, they come, the Thorn Guard, Bladesmen. Focus down the Thorn Patrollers. Doing some damage to me. You are going to try and charge the Thorn Crossbows over there. 52 of them. Get them killed. It looks like only the first army is going for me. The other army is still just stand. No, they're moving as well. They're actually moving as well. Okay, good. And I want these spears to be in shield wall and guard mode. Shield wall and guard mode. Everything else just hold. You did get the charge off. Thorn crossbows are wavering. Try and get them killed. Only half the enemy force remains. Archers continue firing continue at the like thorn patrollers, the ones that can reach. Yeah, here comes the infantry. Blades and thorns. We should probably be able to charge them soon. These guys are broken. Try and chase after them. I don't want them to survive. Uh, 
and they're dropping. Ah, can we even chase after them? We're getting dangerously close to these guys over there. Let's see if we can get these guys killed. These guys are not doing anything. Yeah, we might take some losses because of this chasing that we're doing here. Let's see if we can kill... Oh, their captain is over there. Try and kill him. There we go. We did it, I think. Good. Move back here. Kill the captain. Kill this captain. There we go. He's dead. Good. Uh, archers. Hold your ammunition, please. Don't fire anything more. Uh, you, Gimmelthorn, you can actually finish off the Thorn Patrollers there. Oh no, maybe. Uh, let's try and go for them with the Rovanian Riders. Hold. Hold your shots. Wait for these guys to engage us. And then we're going to try and charge into them and just kill them all. Yeah, we should be able to catch them here. They're actually broken. Try and kill as many as you can here. Oh, uh, we... Okay. Leave them. Let them go. Well, these guys are not doing anything. Pikes, can you move forwards? Try and engage them in melee combat. And as soon as you're in melee combat with them, the cab will try and finish them off. Claw God, you are going to get your asses involved as well. These guys are getting closer. This is so goddamn good. This is so bloody good. They're facing the wrong way. Thorn Bladesmen are going somewhere. If we focus the Thorn Bladesmen with both of the Cavaliers, we should be able to break them straight away. The Thorn God is broken. You get back to a defensive position again. Charging these guys straight from the front. These guys are coming in from behind. They should break from this. They should definitely break. Yep, there we go. Good. Try and kill every single one, though. Kill every single one. Oh, uh, the crossbows over there. Yeah, kill. Don't leave. Let them survive. Six guys remaining. That's good. Thorn gone. 15 guys remaining. We're losing some cavalry here. Archers. Uh, go for the crossbows over there. Thorn gone. Okay, kite back, kite back up. Kite back, cavalry, quickly. Don't get caught by the Thorn God. We have some cavalry over there. Thorn Riders. Now we're doing some good damage. Javelins, hold your spears until we can throw at the Hammer God. Cavalry is moving in. Are they moving in straight into my pikes? It looks like they are going to. Okay, that's good, I guess. Quite weird, but uh, they did that. Straight into my <laughs> my spears. These guys are engaging us. Okay. Mm, they're going into my pikes. That's a great thing. Uh, you know what? Just fire at will javelins instead. Come on. You need to run as well, every one of you. Fire at will as well, archers. One Elvelin hammer guard over there. Elvelin infantry. You can focus on that one. You are going to focus on the... Wine guard over there. Yeah, that's a cool looking unit. Pretty tough. Come on, Cavalry, you're walking. I don't know why this always happens that the unit walks like that. It's quite painful to see. Yeah, they're doing quite a lot of damage to my front line here, but we should be able to withstand their assault. Uh, let's move with the king to one side and the Alcaronda's legion to another side. Cavalry, it's time for you to act again. All of the archers are trying to focus down. Yeah, focus on the hammer guard. Yeah, focus the hammer guard over there if you can can hit them with your last remaining javelins. You're about to flank on that side. Uh, the king is about to flank. You are out. You can go in against the cav there. You are also going to flank on that side. Cavalry. Charge the infantry in the back. You're going to charge the Thorn Guard in the back. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to break them because they have an actual command of this in this army. So I'm not sure that we are going to be able to break them, but this is going to hurt them a great deal. And uh, the fact that we're charging them like this in their asses. Oh, they're going forwards, these guys. The Help with the Thorn Riders, please. Uh, Gimel Cut. Oh, Elevelin Hammer Guard moving in. That's a tough unit for you to deal with because they're more piercing. Oh, we did break them here. Kill everyone. Don't le let anyone escape. Give me the card. Okay, you know, take the fight. We will get cavalry support over to towards your side soon. 
This is a bit of a risky move, though, because these guys are tough. They are tough in melee. Cavalry, it looks like you're about to be done here. We want you to support. Go for a crossbow charge quickly. You guys prepare to flank. You guys flank as well. Get over there quickly. Get everyone killed. You pop your ability as well. Get in there. Archers, I think you can stop firing now. Cavalry, get out. Oh, they're broken. You can chase. You are going to charge the Elvelin Hammer Guard in the back. Get rid of them. Just totally, completely and utterly surround these guys over there. Yeah, they're trying to face us here. Claw Guard. Uh, okay, where are these guys moving? You try and interrupt them. They're going for my general. King, how are things going? It looks like you are actually winning pretty easily. You have the numbers advantage, so that's good to see. You're about to catch these hammer guards. These guys... Oh, they're broken. Chase after them. Go for the hammer guard over there. Yeah, we have the general over there. And we have another hammer guard over there. My king just put him to the ground. He, he's not quite dead yet, though. See if the king... Oh, are they fleeing? No, these guys are wavering. King. Give me a card. Oh, he, I, yeah, he did it. Well done. Nice kill there. Nice kill there. We killed one general. Ruald has died. Try and kill the other one. Continue the fight. Don't let them escape. This was a great battle. This was actually a great battle. 98% of the enemy force has been killed. Remember, get every single one killed. Leave no one alive. Everyone needs to die if we are to take Santa Nui this day. Oh, he's going here. Oh, this guy's still alive. Get him killed. There we go. It's only the general left, I think. Where is he? He's over there. <laughs> go after him. Oh, you're firing still. Stop that. You can help with the chase, though. There we go. There we go. Good. Well done, King. Well done, King. Okay, there we go. 449 losses. Uh, we did win the fight, and we did manage to lure them over to a more strategic position instead of fighting. <coughs> Excuse me. Instead of fighting in the woods. We could take the fight here and look at the amount of purple bodies there is on the battlefield here. Yeah, look at that. A lot of dead purple units. Let's take a look at the kills. Dark Blades, 247 kills. Yeah, really great archer. And they took the top spot. We did sacrifice the Ballista and the Thorn Riders in order to get them over towards us. But it did work out. Let's see if we heal anyone. Yeah, look at that. Ballista, 30 men healed. Perfect, we can still use the Ballista. And we healed 49 Thorn Patrollers as well. Great battle, 5 remaining in this army and 11 in this army. We should be able to claim Santa Nui after this victory. And that's a big, big grab. It looks like we captured both of their commanders in that fight. Ruald and Lindor has been captured. Execute them both though, because we want to make sure that Santa Nui is emptied. Get rid of them all. Come on. Please say that it is emptied. I think it is. I think it's going to be. Yes, it is. Santa Nui. We can just walk in. Take it. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious grab. It's a stronghold as well. Can we occupy it? Looks like we can. Just occupy the settlement. Don't destroy any uh, buildings in here. What do they have inside? Avari barracks. It's not going to help us in any way at all. Except for some law. We are going to keep this one for now. We might destroy it f further in. But the law bonus is going to be quite nice at the moment. So keep the Avari barracks for now. Land clearance. Lord's Hall. Nice. Roads. Chicken farming. Avari Academy. We can use this one as well. Morale bonus to troops trained here. Recruitment slots allowed. 
Brilliant. Yeah, this is a brilliant. Yeah, great. Recruitment slots allowed for and retraining cost reduced. Yeah, that's a great one that we can use. We can destroy it as well, but I'm not going to do that. Wintner's Guildhouse increase incredible good. So this gives me an economic boost as well. Mining network, leather worker, weaponsmith's guild gives me the melee weapon bonus and the melee weapon bonus for ranged forces. Let's keep that for now. Uh, okay, that's that's it. That was the things they had. Uh, no Mason's Hall. No, no Mason's Hall. Well, that's something that we have to get. Uh, Dark Sanctuary, though. Begin by getting that. Let's move the spy from Alcarondost over to Santa Noe. 65% culture. I. That's good. That's good. Get the spy over to Santa Noe. Get the culture booming there. Great grab. This was a great grab. Santa Noe is ours. Great settlement. And if you look, we can get... Yeah, we can get the bags and practice ranges. But we have the Lord's Hall. We should be able to get military buildings here quite fast. Conscription camp. Only the Darwinian forces are recruitable from Santa Noe. Better than nothing, of course. It is better than nothing. Uh, we have this fleet. Let's see if we can scout. I think that we did fight two fleets before. Do they have anything here? No. Mistrand. Lokrim Swordsman. Fang Guard. Fire Guard. Polaxman. Runic Bowman. And Mechujin. Mechujin is guarding Mistrand. Captain Arden. Arnazir, Admiral Arnazir, go back to port. You're going to be continuing being the transport ship in the Sea of Rune. And you... Uh, didn't yeah, didn't I want to... Yeah, we get him back and retrain him as Karas Falzon and then get back to this position. Keep blocking this area from uh, Darwinian fleets and Dalian fleets. And of course, we had a diplomat. He's over there. Mundamir, get down south. Talk to Mordor. Get that alliance going. You have influence. You have the maximum influence. Hopefully you can get the alliance going at least. I really do hope so. And the other diplomat is over there. We did talk to, to Rohan in the previous episode, I think, yeah. My lord. Uh, Dunlending diplomat and Snow Orc diplomat. Ignore those for now. Move for Isengard. Stopping here. And the diplomat from Minas Tremak is going up north later. Okay, great start to this episode. Really great start to this episode, I have to say. Uh, with the capture of Sant Anoui. That's a great grab. A strong Darwinian settlement has been taken in the east. The kingdom of Farasindil is getting stronger. It, it really is. It's really getting stronger. And the trade should be even more protected now at the Sea of Rune here. They shouldn't be able to attack Karas Farazon anymore because I don't think we're bought. Maybe, possibly here. No, I don't think. No, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Dale could maybe attack me here. But I don't think Darwinian can attack me at Karas Farazon anymore. They could potentially attack Alcarondos though because they are bordering from this region there. So Alcarondos might be attacked, but if they take this way. All the way around this way, they should maybe be attacked by Rune. And if they take this way around, we should know in time uh, for us to defend that region. Okay, let's end the turn, finally. The thing is, with this campaign, I'm seeing in the comment section that you guys enjoy this campaign so incredibly much. And when I see that in the comment section, that makes me enjoy the campaign even more as well. When I see that you guys love it, I love it to death. At this moment, this campaign is almost the love of my life. Um, my girlfriend is still above this campaign, but it's really it, <laughs> this is a great campaign. I'm having so much fun with this one. It's unbelievably funny. Santa Noe, Brotherhood of True Sons. And that sounds interesting. Brotherhood of True Sons. Yes, except I guess. 
New mission. Dom oh, Dominion of Isengard. Oh, we didn't get the guild mission. We did get the standard mission instead. That's good, because the guild mission is only 300 gold coins. And this one gives 750. So I'd, I'd much rather take this one instead. Uh, just take a quick look here. Brotherhood of True Sons. Morale bonus to troops trained here. Global effects. Alright. Still the melee weapon bonus for melee and the ranged forces. And a global morale bonus, bonus as well. Uh, we, we did have another guild, didn't we? Uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Nice that we got it at Santa Noe because this is going to be one of the bigger military production centers for us. But the thing, can we get ports here? I think we can. That should mean that we should be able to get all of the valuable forces from Santa Noe. This is definitely going to be one of the biggest military production centers in the Eastern Kingdom. Uh, Fighters Pit, Fighters Guild, and Nare Nare Fighters Guild. This gives me the Royal Legion of Armenolos. These guys require coastal region. If we could get this guild in a location where we do not have a coastline, then it would be really beneficial. But let's say, for example, if we take a region over here, this region there. Bersouthis. No access to a port. Can they get a port? No, they shouldn't. Not in this little puddle. No, I don't think so. Bersouthis shouldn't be able to get a port. But if we would get the Fighters Guild there, we could potentially get the Royal Legion of Armenolos from a settlement like this. So, Fighters Guild really would like to get that in one of the just landlocked settlements in the future. Oh, that's a great grab. Great grab. Just need to double check. Uh, should it, well, it's really weird that we didn't get the Merchant's Guild mission. We did get the standard one instead with Isengard. But I'll take it because it's more money. It is more money. And we have an Isengard army over there. Oh, look at that. Isengard Ballista. It's a new unit. Let's talk to them. Trade rights only. We don't want anything else. Good. Some extra cash. Thank you. Oh, Mordor is over there as well with an army. Black Uruk Warg Riders. And do you guys remember? Isengard are at war with Mordor. There's most likely a big war raging on here between Mordor and Isengard. So exciting. Yes. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, there's a, some chaos happening here between Isengard and Mordor. Yes. Can we spot anything inside Nazkai over there? Deadly unit. What do we have here? Anything new? Black Uruk Spears? Oh, there's a huge battle raging on here between Mordor and Isengard. Yes. So interesting. Uh, ignore these armies for now, though. Keep moving to this area. Yes. Get the newly recruited diplomat out from Minas Tremak. Send him towards tomorrow. the High Elves and tomorrow the Dwarves of Ered Lewin. Mott and Bailey are ready to be upgraded on Dosto. Oh, that's great news. That is great news. Yeah, let's go for that. Castle upgrade. Let's uh, finish the militia garrison first, though. But then we get upgraded into a castle, and castles are so much better than Mott and Bailey's. So let's go for the castle upgrade after the militia garrison has been finished. Yeah, that's going to be brilliant. Ondosto is a frontline region against Dale, so yeah, a castle... It's going to help this place out so much. Aldamir, get back to port. Retrain yourself. Retrain the ship. And get back to blockading. At the moment, this runic fleet is blocking this entrance here. That's really nice to see. Um, construction report. Let's take a look. Minas Tremak. Practice range. Okay. What do we want to go for here? Uh, we can retrain the archers. Let's retrain the archers. Let's retrain these guys as well when we can. And building wise here, 
Grand Exchange, maybe? Just something cheap. I really want to save some money because I want to get some money when I try and get that alliance with Mordor. I want to have at least 10k or 15k or something. I really want the alliance to happen. So save some money. Go for a cheap Grand Exchange here for two turns. Romena, communal farming over here. What should we go for? Leather worker. Yeah, let's go for the leather worker. Something to oh, brothel we could go for maybe. That's gonna give us one more spy as well. Let's go for the leather worker for now and then maybe brothel after. Let's do that for now. Some just cheap buildings, save some money. Yeah. The pikes have been retrained at Minas Triamak. That's a beautiful sight to see. They're back in full strength. And six attack, nine defense. Nice. Really nice. Path blocked. Yeah, the diplomat got kind of blocked in that area. I can't seem to find him here anymore. Oh, he's just. He might get assassinated by these armies. <laughs> he could get stuck in there. It's possible. So this diplomat is headed north. Yeah, that's the spy. Let's move with him as well. There we have it. Baradvin, the castle. Uh, that's the one that I'm likely going to try and grab after... Yeah, that's the next target for conquest, I think. Uh, for uh, Gimilso and the Kingdom of Adunafel. Baradvin is going to be the next target. Keep going. Kairil. Yeah, this is the Kairil. What's this? Larferan. And this is also an Edwithian region. Um, to try and find it. I don't remember, but it, I think it's a really weak town. It's a town with like a population of 300 people or something. If I remember correctly. It shouldn't be a big city. And we have Tharban over there as well that we need to scout out. But Baradvin and then maybe this region here is going to be the next target. And then of course the regions down here. Lond, Angren and Karas. That should be located in there, in the woods there. That's the plan. And Farason, continue your watchtower journey, please. Get this entire region missionized, because we never know. Dunlan might strike Morland, and if they do, might have some issues. And uh, no missions? No missions, okay. Uh, yeah, we should get back to port as well at Elder Londa and retrain some ships. No, that's the wrong port. This is the one we want to go to. <laughs> yeah, it's going to cost me a lot of money though. Yeah, do it nonetheless. I want this fleet to be strong. We need it to be strong. Okay, am I missing something? I certainly hope not. It feels like... It always, always feels like I'm forgetting something in this campaign. You... Yeah, let's not forget about you. Yes. Move for Mordor territory. Yeah, we could go for the Black Gate, or we could just go down over there. No, just go for the Black Gate. We can reach that in the next turn. Okay. Gold Barracks, two turns until that is completed. Elder Londa, two turns for the Gold Barracks over there. Let's prepare by moving the Numenoran cohort into Elder Londa. Prepare to retrain them. And there we go. Let's end the turn again. Oh, I sent the spy into to Santanui as well. That's good. Get the culture booming there. That's what we want. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just so happy that you like this campaign. And I love this mod. I love this mod so much. There's so many new units to explore in this one, and I cannot wait to fight factions like Isengard, for example, that have received a lot of new units. Mordor has received a lot of new units. We're fighting Drawinion with a lot of new units. We are getting a diplomatic mission with Dol Guldur. 750 gold coins. Yeah. Yeah, if we can get 8,500 gold coins in the bank. Okay, hopefully that's going to be enough to get Without the question. alliance going. Without Don't spend question. anything. Uh, Conquer of Karasand, Guard Dog. Personal security, public security and loyalty. Give me a card. Oh, did he... 
Yeah, uh, Adenam Shield, okay. I thought he got two retinues with this, no, but he, that's his name. Uh, Adenam Shield, plus two hit points, Renown, Command, Defending Walls, okay, good. Constructions, Ondosto, Militia Garrison, Morland, Master Masons all, Alcarondost has been upgraded. Yeah, look at this glorious Adonaic um, settlement. Alcarondost is now in the right type of. Um, it's the right type of uh, construction. It is Numenorian now. And it looks goddamn great as well. Good. Santanui Dark Sanctuary. Great. The spy is inside. Recruitment report. The fleet has been retrained. The This one has been retrained over there. Good. Yeah, there we go. Another fleet. Stand ready. Somewhere on there. And just block. Yeah, the Numenorean Steel Bows have been finished over at Elder Londa. Minas Tremak has retrained the Ballista, we have retrained the Archers as well. This place is a lot stronger now. Can we train these guys? Not yet. But uh, there we go. Numenorean Steel Bows have been recruited over at Elder Londa. The Kingdom of Adunafel is a little bit stronger today with these new powerful Archers. 6 melee attack, 6 missile attack, 21 total defense. Can you sharpen stakes? That's great. Romena was the largest seaport in Numenor, located in the east of the isle. It sees the most traffic between Numenor and Middle-earth, and highly skilled shipwrights work in the shipyards here. This grand port city would rival even the mighty havens of Umbar or Etherlond. The Romena Bavabarim, <laughs> I don't know, or Windlords are some of the best archers of Numenor. They take pride in that title, for they are also very competent swordsmen, truly a worthy adversary for any opponent willing to fight them. Glorious. All right, let's try and get this alliance going now, shall we? My lord. Well, we're talking to a governor. We should, as you guys have said, I should try and maybe talk to a captain. Uh, instead, uh, they don't have the influence, uh, but he, I don't think he has the greatest. Let's try with him at least. Alliance, uh, this is a great guy. Influence is high. Maybe we can try with 4,000 gold coins? Is that gonna work? Because of his influence? Possibly. Let's make the offer. Nah, didn't. Let's uh, give them one of the gold coins quickly. Yeah, Alliance. I'm gonna give you everything I have. I really want this flipping thing to happen. Um, yeah, offer everything we have. Map info, military access, everything. Make the fl flipping offer. Please accept now, Mordor. Please accept. No. I cannot quite accept. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna do a regular tribute as well. 1000 gold coins for eight tots and I will pay you everything I have I don't care if we pay this I just want to get this flip in alliance going please accept it yes thank you yes this is really generous it's too goddamn generous I don't care though because I really want this thing to happen okay yeah you are really happy now okay you really don't need that money, but uh, there we go. Alliance has finally happened. You are going to try and seek after Dol Guldur. I'm not sure they're gonna, you're going to get there in time, but let's try and find them. Okay, we have the Alliance. Let's see if it works. I, if we, I think we might need to end the turn, though, before it works. The um, Mordor Alliance units should come from the Dark Temple. Maybe even the Dark Shrine. Uh, but it might happen after we end the turn. But the Alliance has finally happened. We did pay a heavy price in order to get it. We are going to miss 1k gold for, for a few turns as well now. I don't care. I do not care. I just wanted the Alliance. Okay, there we go. We have the Alliance. Okay, where are you going? It will be an honor defeating you. 
You are dangerously close to Ondosto. With the Sith. And yeah, they he could attack me here. I do not want that to happen. I mean, uh, Thalarain, I think we might need to send these guys back. Archers, crossbows, footmen and cell swords. Get back to Ondosto, try and bolster the defenses there. I might actually ship over something else, something more here. Um, crossbows. Or more pikes, perhaps. I think uh, maybe this army is enough. It will be an honor defeating you. Just, just get, get, yeah, get another crossbow in there, just to, to be absolutely sure that we should be able to defend. Get back to this area again. Actually, you stand over here because you're the transport ship. Get over there to the Karas Farasan port. Okay, if he attacks on Dosto, at least we should be powerful enough to stop them. We have two units of seafarers. We have footmen, pikes. Crossbows, spears, and archers, and the cav as well. Tariq Magan. Um, yeah, Vidasith is trying to sneak his way over to Ondosto. Maybe he could go for Rubar. No, Rune has taken this region. Dale had this one a little while ago, but it looks like Rune has taken this region back. That's good. Hopefully, they're putting some pressure on Dale. Well then, Vidasith, you shouldn't be able to attack Rubar. So maybe if he either he might return home, or he could go for Ondosto. Let's see what he does. He is in range to attack it though. Okay, let's send a turn again. Uh, yeah, we don't have any money, so you won't be able to place any towers. But you can get into position though. Let's send a turn. Yeah, he did attack me. Look at that. Vader Sith, you... We must make a stand. Idiot. We are besieged. I'm so happy that I did spot him, though. Yeah, well, hopefully we should be able to win that. He looks like he has a decent army, but, I mean, we... We are... We should be fine. Let's take a look at his army. Let's see what he has. Alliance with Mordor. There we go. There we go. Ardenheim has chosen to ally with the lesser of two repugnant choices. Mordor. The absolute destruction of Minas Tirith and Gondor being a shared goal. These two great powers enter into an uneasy partnership. Mordor cements this alliance by providing Ardenheim with the elite Ardenheim shadow bows Melkor's marksmen and Melkor's executioners. Gondor's days are numbered. Well, I'm thinking we're gonna begin by allying with Mordor and Mordor is likely going to be one of my opponents late game because we shouldn't partner with them. This alliance is purely because I want to unlock these units. Uh, the thing is I want to try and maybe partner with them now to get these units for a little while and then I'm going to try and switch allegiances and maybe ally to Gondor instead and then fight against Mordor. Let's see now. Let's see. Um, Dark Shrines. No, we couldn't get them. Maybe they are locked to, to capital locations. No. Uh, Minas Tremak is a capital location. Can we get them here? That's the question. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Dark Temple. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Melkor's marksmen. Look at these units. Look at them. Inspires nearby troops. Can you sharpen stakes? Effective against armor. Reliable in snow. Look at these guys. That's a fantastic unit. That's the Melkor's marksmen. Melkor's executioners. Inspires nearby troops. Reliable as a fright nearby enemy infantry. Powerful charge. Excellent stamina. 17 total attack. 28 defense. Requires ally to Mordor and Umbar, Kaldun, Fornos, Orion and Numinas. 
yeah, this is uh, this is not true. They, they have, I think this this might have been the truth in the early version, but uh, as you can see, they are available in capital locations. For example, this one right here, Minas Tremak, is one of those. So they get to come from that region. And I hope that um, Karasant is also one of those regions. We're going to double check and see. Adonaim Shadow Bows. 250 meters, 28 missiles, 4 missile attack, melee attack of 8, 12 total defense. Well, I'm a bit disappointed at this unit. <laughs> 4 missile attack, that's not as great as I was maybe hoping. But, uh, well, uh, another archer. Absolutely. Uh, they're not as great as the Shadow Bows and the Melkor's Marksmen. These. Uh, oh, Me Melkor's Execution. The Shadow Bows are not as great as the Marksmen or the Executioners. Uh, but they're okay. They're about as great as the standard archers, I think. There might be something wrong with the stats here. I think the stats sh maybe should be a bit higher than this. Um, but there we go. Another archer. But uh, the marksman here and the executioners, this is the prize. This is the prize. Absolutely it is. There we go. Those were the units that you get when allying with Mordor. You can now understand why I desperately wanted to get that Elias going. Uh, let's just double check as well and see if Karas Farason could get them. Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, I'm so tempted on just rushing to get a uh, Dark Temple both in Karas Farason and at Minas Tremak. Because we shouldn't be able to have these forces for too long either. Because when we cancel the alliance with Mordor later, we're not going to be able to recruit these guys again. They are here as long as we're allied to Mordor. When the alliance are no more, we can no longer recruit them. And we're never going to recruit them again. Even if we're allied with Mordor after... Again, it's not going to work. So we have to make good use out of them now, while we can. Karas Farason. Should we go for the Dark Shrine? What do we need to get to the best shrine? We need... Oh, we can get it straight away. Uh, Karas Farason. Go for the Dark Shrine. Minas Tremak. Go for the Dark Shrine as well. I want to get it up to the best shrine as quickly as I can. Okay, Minas Tremak Elder Londe, God Barracks. Can we afford? We cannot afford to train. Uh, we, the only thing we can afford here is the Grain Exchange. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And that's all of the money. That is all of the money. Mendelmir, move. Move. Move to high elven territory. Get trade rights. We, we need the money. We desperately do. Yes. Farason, tower, please. This tower will keep vigil over the get a tower here and get a tower there. This tower will keep and return to Moorland, please. Okay, we did get the royal guard finished as well. We have two powerful archers here now. We have the barracks. We can recruit. The Balaketh Axe Guard. 10 attack, 19 defense. That's a new unit that we can recruit now with the Guard Barracks being completed. Numenorean Cohort, of course, as you guys have seen before. And Numenorean Shield Guard, a powerful defensive spear unit with 25 total defense, 7 attack, can make shield wall, a powerhouse in the defense. I'm really looking forward to seeing these guys, though, in action. The Balaketh Axe Guard. And after the Grain Exchange, I really think we should focus on getting the armorer over at Elder Londa. Try and get up to the best type of armor that we can get here. Your orders, my lord. Okay, Alcarondost. Yeah, we Mason's Guildhouse, absolutely. That's the next kind of building we want to go for here as well. We're saving the money though. Uh, we did save the money. Uh, that's why we don't have money left, because we got the Alliance. They have another force over there. Also, King's Shield, Dale Swordmasters, North Militia, Dylan Billman, Erebor Infantry. Dale is really meaning business at the moment. They are bringing in a lot of forces to this area. Interesting. Uh, Santa Nui. 
Yeah, we need to get a building here as well. Um, Mason's Hall. Be gone. Come and get me. Well, both Gimel Thon and Gimel Kad is likely going to continue their advances in the Western Theatre here. The Western Theatre for the Eastern Kingdom. Uh, maybe the next target is going to be this. Karavarad, that's a large town, also a great grab. So keep these forces here, because this is a frontline region against the Rwinians. So keep these forces here. Uh, Gimelkad might be the one leading this army towards Karavarad soon. So keep them here for now. Uh, let's uh, end the turn. Am I missing something? You are going to try and get over to Dolguldur territory and get those extra bucks. I'm not sure that you're going to make it though, but try at least. And Mendelmir, you have moved. Uh, where did I put the other diplomat? He is over there. Yes, my lord. Well, I guess he could take this journey. Like that. Over there. Yeah, let's go yes. over there. Take this way. As you wish. Okay. I shall continue tomorrow. Senator. Let's end it. Dale, will you attack me? Or will you continue besieging me? No, you're attacking me. Okay. Okay. Um, they actually have some decent units in this army. They have some sword masters, 13 attack, 15 defense. They're actually pretty good. Uh, they're good at carving through things. Their defense is not that great though. Nine in armor. We can easily focus our javelins on the, this kind of a unit. Uh, Athala rangers, 30 of them. Uh, it's a pretty weak army though. If I look at it a bit closer. Two pikes though. Lake Town pikemen. They're pretty good units. And Vidusith is a pike unit as well. Six attack, 16 defense. He has some upgraded gear. Uh, three chevrons and one melee weapon bonus. Plus one extra armor as well. Daly and Billman as well they have. But yeah. I mean. We should be fine here. We should be fine. They have a general though. We need to get him killed. Uh, because otherwise these guys will fight to the last man. And he's a uh, okay commander. Tarek Magan though. I mean we should be fine here. Yeah, let's go in. Let's take the fight. Attack. Okay. Alright. Uh, they have two units of ballistas. I really would like to try and shut them down. We have Tarek Magan. He's a cavalry unit. We're going to try and use him. We have one unit of cell swords here. You can stand on the square. Actually, stand over there, do nothing. Just to show the enemy that we are in control over the square. A cavalry. Should we go out from here? No, the gate might open and not close. Just go out from this area. Okay. Shield wall. Hold here. And in God, this is a thick shield wall. Two units, a really thick shield wall there. Um, pikes. We're gonna hold on this area. There we go. Stand over there. Yeah, that's perfect. Archers and crossbows. <clears throat> Can we form up over here? Is it possible? There we go. Yeah, that's a good position for you, I think. Uh, crossbows. I like this little hill here. It's really good to use. Javelins stand over there somewhere. These crossbows will stand here. Yeah, like that. Archers. Where do we put you? Maybe there. Okay, we, we, let's form them up after the battle begins. Take this off, though. All of you. Start the battle. Tariq Magan, move out from the settlement. And archers, get into position. I want you to stand over there somewhere. I don't want Tariq Magan to die. It's a bit risky moving him out, charging ballistas, but I really want to silence them. You're getting into position. Is everyone getting out? Yes, it looks like it. I don't see any straggler behind. Good. Move for the ballista and shut them down. 
Hopefully the crossbows is going to be able to get some good shots from here down over there. I think they can. We don't want them to break through the walls. We want the ram to go for the gate and nowhere else. Do not not allow these ballistas to break through the gate. Javelins, you're just going to wait until their pikes... Uh, where is he? Where's the general? Is he over here? Yes. Wait until these guys have entered the blob. And when they have entered the blob, you are going to, to fire and throw your things. Go for the charge on the ballista. Shut it down. Sword masters over there. Do they have any archers? North of militia. Where are those rangers? Atal rangers. They might be hidden. Good. We've stopped that unit. Rivermen. Northmen. Yeah, they had some Athala rangers somewhere. Yeah, they're over there. No, that <laughs> Northmen militia. <laughs> they look quite the same. Brownish colour. They're moving. That's what we want them to do. Crossbow, since you have so much ammunition, when they are in range, you are free to fire at will. It looks like... <coughs> Sorry. Looks like the other ballista is still firing. We need to shut them down again then. Oh, there we go. There we have them, the Athala Rangers. Okay, there they are. Oh, not you, not you. No, 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 no. Get back, get back, get back. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Close the gate. There we go, good. Riverman. Yeah, they're kind of blocking me from doing things I want to do. Go for a quick little charge on the Riverman. And then after the Lake Town Pikemen are moving into the Ballista there. I don't like that. Try and go for a quick charge on these guys quickly before they get too close with other things. 24%. Yeah, I want them to use the Ram and not the Ballista. There we go. Get in. Great charge. Great charge. Quickly move over to the, uh, over to the other Ballista. Oh, they're charging in with the Cav. Stop these guys for a second. Get out of there. Get out. Tarek Magan, where are you? Where are you? You're over there. Okay, good. You're in a safe position. This guy's definitely going to die. He's surrounded by pikes. Maybe not. Can you get out of there? Can you get out of there? Yes. What a hero. Get out. No, he died. He died eventually. The ram is moving for the gate. Okay, that's good. That's what we wanted to happen. Crossbows. Um, fire at the pikes. Fire at the pikes. You are going to fire now because you, it's going to take ages for you to be done with the ammunition. This Lake Town pikeman is still guarding this ballista. Uh, yeah, this ballista crew is also still alive. They're getting back to their ballista. Let's see. We need to stop them again. So charge in. Stop them from firing. Try and not activate this pike unit. There we go. Good. Oh, you're getting into the pikes. Try and get out of there. Really would like to finish this unit off. No, the pikes are coming for me. Come on, get as many kills as you can. No, get out, get out, get out, get out. Now we're getting some good kills on the Lake Town pikemen there. The, ki the general. Yeah, he's fine. Chill out here for a little while. Some rivermen over there. Don't let them fire at us. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gate. They're battering on the gate. They're taking back control over their ballista again. Get in there again. They only have six guys remaining. Get rid of them. Stop them from firing. Uh, they have only done 24% damage to the walls, though. That's not too much. These guys are getting back to their ballista again. But this time we should be able to finish them off entirely here. For sure we should. I think we did it. Yes, I think so. Get over there now. Stop them from doing anything. And look at that. We're doing some great damage to the Lake Town Pikemen there with the crossbows. Stick in combat. These guys are not doing anything anyway. So just stick in combat with these ballistas. Get rid of them totally. We might go for a charge on the Athala Rangers as well with the Cavi. When we're done with the Ballista crew. Since these guys are not doing anything against us. Let's try and charge down the Athala Rangers. Oh, the, the pikes are moving now. Okay. Okay, they're, they're broken through. That's why. 
get out of that. Wait for these cavalry to rush forwards. And then go for a quick little charge on the Athalarangus. Okay, crossbows. Wait until they blob up now. You can just focus in the center, it doesn't matter. We did stop the other rangers. Yeah, we crushed them. There we go. Great work, Tarek Magan. Ballista is getting back, though. <laughs> oh, we did kill them entirely. Okay, great. Athala rangers are no more. Go for the ballista crew. Finish them off. Crossbows. Focus the blob. Archers. Focus the blob. Javelins. Get closer. Get closer and throw your javelins in the center there. We're, we're, we're doing massive amounts of damage here to this blob. Did you finish them off? Yes, you did. Glorious work. Glorious work. Actually, Javelins, you're going to wait until this guy has moved in. Uh, Vidusith. Wait for him to move in and then we're going to throw our Javelins at him. Try and focus him. We're going to hit a lot of other things as well. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, I should have put you in guard mode in this fight. You're pushing a bit too hard here. Might have been worthwhile putting these guys in guard mode in this type of a situation. Because now we're pushing into hard here. Uh, try and go back. I don't like this. This is not good. Oh, we're going to lose so many men from this. Guard mode. Try and stand like that or something. I know we're losing so many troops here. I shouldn't have done that. But we have a lot of reserves. Oh, they're just pushing forwards. Go guard mode. Try and make... Just throw. Just throw. Throw things into the center. Oh, they're really going bananas here. With their units. Oh, look at the damage we're doing with the seafarers here, most likely, though. They're throwing in their javelins. Most likely doing massive amounts of damage. We have a sword master over there. Oh, we're raining death and destruction down on them here. But, yeah, I should have put them in guard mode. It doesn't matter if they get kills in this kind of a fight. Now they're getting totally overwhelmed, actually. Which is not good. Yeah, they're gonna silence my crossbows here. Yeah? Yeah, my pikes are completely done. I shouldn't have moved them, I should have just let them do their thing. When I moved them, I completely stopped their formation from working. Go guard mode, try and continue firing. Don't go into melee. You are out now. Get get into melee. See if we can move her away with you a bit. Try and make these guys fight instead and get these guys to stand over here to, to make them throw their javelins. They're chasing after me with some spears. Get out of their cavalry, please. Yeah, you're still firing at the enemy. That's good. Looks like it, at least. Come on, javelins, get out. And you get in. To combat. Well, this is turning into a not so nice fight. Javelins want you to throw your things. Throw your things at the enemy. Uh, is it the pikeman that is doing all the damage to me here? Might be. They have just berserked their way through here. Where's the general? No, throw in the center there. We still have these guys that we can send in, but look, we are losing units fast here. Too fast. Yeah, we have killed a lot, but they have killed a lot as well. General, we need you inside of the settlement. We need you to try and get some charges do gone doing it. Uh, just try and get some charges done. Um, the fact that I moved my pikes there really didn't help. I should have put them in guard mode in this battle. The fact that they pushed forwards in the beginning there really didn't aid me. Throw things at something. Sword masters, you can throw at the sword masters, that's okay. Yeah, swordsmen and uh, Ravanian Gudrods. Not too scared for you. Why are you not throwing your javelins? There we go, you're throwing something. Ah, oh, this goddamn Lake Town pikemen, man. We haven't killed too many of them. We have some rivermen, that's not a scary one. Dalian swordmaster, swordsmen. 
Sword Masters. Yeah, the Sword Masters. They're scared. Look at my spears. They're getting so weak as well. I do think that we've got this, though. I do we've think so. But hands. maybe... I'm not sure. Are we going to lose this one? They really pushed through here. Like there was no tomorrow. And you're not throwing your things. Go for the Lake Town Pikeman over there. I think this is the General's unit. Throw at him. Please do. Please throw at this guy. There we go. Finally get to do something. Yeah, they're catching up to me. They're killing more of, m of my men than I'm killing of theirs. Crossbows, can you get over there? Try and get into that position instead. Archers, at least you are getting clean shots off. Yeah, what we need to do here, what we need to do now, we need to kill the general. Can't quite see if this is the guy, if this is the general's unit. They're never gonna break until we kill their general. And I have no clue where he is. I'm not. I don't want to lose on Dosto like this. That would be so bad. Yeah, Dale is really meaning business today. Focus the pikemen, please. And you just go in. Stop them from advancing. My spears are still holding for dear life. It looks like you're about to be kind of free. This is the, just the standard pike unit. This is not the general. The general is somewhere. He's stopping my archers from doing anything. Just fire over there. Archers, try and kite out from there. We need to get shot. And this is the general's unit. Try, try and sh make them come here. If the cav can get a charge in their back. We might be able to kill their general. Try to make them chase you. Oh, this pike unit is still getting into my unit. <laughs> oh, they, they have overwhelmed me totally. It's really close, this one as well. I, Jesus, man. Everything got, like, trash because I moved the pikes. And I should have put them in guard mode in this battle. For sure I should. Because that would have bought me the time I needed here. Instead, I failed so hard with the movement I did there. It is not over, though. It is not over. Fire the pikes, please. General, prepare to charge the pikes. In the side or in the back or whatever. And these pikes are just not giving up. Try and fire at them, if you can. If it's possible. The seafarers are almost done for. We have this one, it's pretty healthy. The spears are still going at it. They're holding the line. They're facing some sword masters, though. Come on, focus the Lake Town Pikemen. General, prepare to charge them down. We have some stragglers. Let them get into combat with these archers. I think this is him. Yeah, we have him over there, I think. The general. Okay, good. We now know where he is. Engage him in melee combat. Cavalry, stand over here. Kill the general. If we do that, we should be able to break them. Sell sword, you can even get your ass involved as well. Charge them in the side. Cavalry, go in. Get the charge off as well, please. Please get the charge off. Oh, there we go. Did you get a kill? Oh, we did get a kill. Nice work, Sell sword. No, no. Are we getting charge off? Ah, yes, we are. Ah, uh, we did do some damage there. Good. Do it again quickly. Destroy this Lake Town Pikeman quickly before it's too late. We need to kill their general. We need to kill him. They have 14 guys remaining. Kill Vidusith, please. Get him killed. Cell Sword is still alive and kicking as well. We have one cavalry in back. Uh, we're not going to get the charge off because we're one horse in. Uh, there we go, he's dead. Good. I guess. Cell Sword, get out of there. You're making them focus you. Get out. Make them focus the archers instead. Cavalry, get a charge off. No. No charge this time. Get out. Come on, kill Vidasith. Get him killed. We have to kill him here to get the morale shock that we need. The seafarers are beginning to run out of men. 
Sell sword. Move in there and support. <laughs> We're getting the charge off this time. Straight into pikes though, it's a bit risky. Did we kill him? Did we kill him? No, he just fell to the ground. We didn't kill him. Ugh. Archers get out now. He's the only guy alive now, I think. Oh yeah, he's the only guy alive. Come on, go for what? Oh, no, he's not dead. He's not dead. Just, just falling to the ground all the time. Go for another charge on him. Archers, try and get over there. Fire at the enemy from that position. Into the blob there. Cell sword. Did you die? Yes, he died. We killed the general now. Good. The charge worked. Good. Maybe we should be able to get some breaks going now. Crossbows. Yeah, just take the fight against them. Ah, this was not a great fight. This should have gone so much better. We had more than enough forces to win this fight. A lot easier than we did um, today. We could have won so much easier than we did. Spears are wavering, they're exhausted. We still have 43 seafarers. They're doing fairly great. Keep going there. Rivermen, swordsmen, where are those sword masters? Archers, get your l slow asses into position. Of course my guys decided to break. Get as many kills as you can. Let the seafarers take the fight for as long as they can before they break. Ah, oh, this is not good. I don't like this. This, it's not over yet, just because we killed Vidasid, it's not over. They still have a lot of men here. And they're pushing through my seafarers, getting a lot of kills while they're doing that. Okay, this is scary, this is scary. And the rivermen will be free now to throw their javelins. They're shaken. If we get one charge off against those guys, they Our should break. The Let them reform. Archers, try and use all of your ammunition on them. The Focus the rivermen down. Oh, we had one guy there. Oh, Belagir Footman. Hold the square at all costs. Is he gonna yeah, he's back. He's back in action. Can I get a kill? No, ah, he's gonna die. Maybe? No, I don't think so. He's gonna die. Riven, they're reloading. They're gonna throw their javelins against me. Okay. Take the fight against them. Are oh, these guys grouped up accordingly? They have some Ravain and Gedrots, though. Yeah, this is speed, and we don't want to charge them head on. Oh, these guys are broken now as well. Ah. Our enemy has commanded the castle. Why did I move the pike unit and why didn't I put it in guard mode from the get-go? I should have done that. No, we're just charging straight in here. We're getting the charge off at least though, which is good. They're not breaking though. The enemy is not breaking. They, I think they sense that victory is quite close here. So, they're likely going to fight a bit harder. Our enemy has commanded the castle. They still have so many rivermen left. They're throwing the javelins at my archers. Okay, where do we go? Um, sword masters over there. Rivermen, rivermen, okay. Uh, pikemen are still here. Ignore these guys on the square for now. Try and help the archers. Let's see if we can finish off the Lake Town pikemen with the cav. Actually, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Go for the rivermen over there instead. Maybe try and squeeze your way through to this unit. Let's see if we can get a charge off. Charging? Yes, we did! Good. Good charge. Go for this unit quickly. If we charge them head on, I think we should be able to break them. They're shaken. Yes, we're charging. We're charging. Come on. No, we didn't charge, but they're broken nonetheless. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Archers move to the next unit. General, stay away from danger. Take the fight against the rivermen there. They only have 17 guys. Our enemy has commanded the castle. We should break them soon. 
have a look, squeeze your way through here before the swords ma sword masters can engage my archers. The rivermen are broken. Okay, good. Archers engage the sword masters. So lucky that we have cavalry generals as Dardanheim. If we didn't have cavalry commanders as the standard bodyguard in this campaign, I think this would have been so much harder than what it is. But to be fair though, this battle I should have won a lot easier than I did. The mistake I did with the pikes there was just made the entire battle so bad. Yeah, they're broken as well. We are going to win, but yeah, once again, it's I'm taking too many risks here. Yeah, they're broken. Okay, we have some sword men over there. Cavalry weight over there. Archers, go for a volley on the pikes, please. Try and finish them off. We have tower support here as well. 4 minutes and 38 seconds for the clock to tick out. Take the fight with the swordsman. Cavalry, prepare to charge them or just touch them to break them, hopefully. Get in there. If we just touch them, they should break now. And we're getting to charge off again. They're broken. Good. Cavalry move over to this side now instead. Ah, oh, this battle shouldn't have been this bad. Shouldn't have been this bad. This was a kind of easy victory. Uh, if I didn't do my mistake with the pike there. Yeah, you're firing at the pikes and the good rods. We still have some time before we need to reset the clock. Yeah, activate the towers. These guys are broken. Focus the pikes now instead. The there we go. No there we go. The <sighs> so unnece unnecessary. So unnecessary. Yeah, average victory. I totally agree here. Well totally agree. Uh, we didn't have to make it like this. Seafarers, well, they performed. Uh, they did get to throw their javelins. Um, pikemen, though, yeah, they crumbled quickly because I moved with them. And I tried to move them back. I should have just let them be. But what I should have done with them in this battle from the get-go, because we didn't want to rely on the pikemen for the damage in this fight. When you want to rely for the damage with the pikes, you do not put them in guard mode. But when you just want them to defend, to hold the line, then you can put them in guard mode. Like in this battle, for example. Because they were not the damage dealers in this fight. The damage dealers were the crossbows, the archers, and the seafarers. And they pushed through the pikes, and they stopped my crossbows from firing. They stopped my archers from doing everything. We did get to, to fire a lot of our arrows, though. But the crossbows... Yeah, one unit did get a lot of kills, but we could have done so much more with the crossbows if they didn't get interrupted. So yeah, very, very average victory, um, but still a victory. So we'll try and retrain some forces, because they had another army quite close to Ondosto, so we might need to retrain some forces here. Yeah. Get rid of them all. Yeah, they still. You look at look over there in the north. Captain Marvin is over there as well. I really hope that Rune can deal with him. Um, I the Dale and Pikemen as well. They're great at pushing in. For some reason, they really did push quite well as well. And they did good damage to me in that fight. And the Swordmasters also did a lot of damage to me. We need to respect Dale a lot more than we're currently doing. I think. Andaman's leader is dead. My Lord, Diplomats move to this area. Karas Farason can be upgraded. We'll look at that. We can get these units as well. That's nice to see. We're just currently getting the Dark Shrine though. So we're going to wait until we upgrade this one. Other I'm Helmet. Apocathery. Other I'm Armor. Yeah... I wonder where this army is going to try and go. They had dwarves in this one. If they go for Dosto, we're going to have some serious issues. We're still earning quite a lot of money, though. Even though we're paying Mordor some cash. 
leather worker or red romana over here. Go for the brothel. Give me one more spy. Alcarondost, go for the Mason's Guild House as well. While we have the money. Ondosto, Karasfarason, Romena, and Alcarondos is producing things. I'm just gonna double check here. No, we cannot get them here. Okay. Um, over at Saint Anouis, Mason's Hall, please. Get that one. Yes, my lord. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. It looks like they're moving in with some forces. Oh, th this is the one. Bale. Yeah, it's only a town. An Edwaitian town. That's also a region we want to try and grab from them. Try and spy on Tharbad. It's currently in the control of the goblins. Um, that might be great, actually, because then we might not need to go to war with Dunland. We can possibly wait a while until we go to war with them. We can take Tharbad and maybe not even be at war with Dunland. So Tharbad is absolutely one of the key regions that I want to grab in this area. Yeah, they're beginning to move in. Get back to Morland, Farason, Diplomat, Head... No, they have Karas Nurnelel as well. Warband Host, that's a good unit. Solas, Brennin's Guard. Yes. Move towards the High Elves. And you're trying to find Dolguldur. As you wish. If you can find them. How many turns for the mission? Stopping here. Three turns. In terms of buildings here, Triamak is producing the Dark Shrine. Elder Londa is going for the Grain Exchange. Morlond, anything cheap that we can get here. Go for the Leather Tanner. And the rest of the money I want to try and spend on retraining as much as I can here. We did heal a few pikes by the looks of things. Yes, we did. Uh, but the Seafarers, we didn't heal anything. Retrain everything. We can. How many turns? Nine turns for the seafarers. I think transport over another pipe unit over there. Get them to this position. Uh, we don't need to repair this one because we're getting the new castle upgrade soon, anyways. Okay, okay. Everything is producing something. We have a big army here. We will move out soon. I'm thinking we're likely going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. Move out for Karvarad. And I want to try and move out from here. Cannot quite... Re have, we don't have the money to re retrain the Numenorean cohort. Let's uh, queue them up though. Make sure that they are retrained. We could use some forts here. Uh... We, we can retrain the spears. Retrain the cell swords as well and see if it works. We can use some forts. We could pop some units into forts to save some money. But if we get attacked by an Edwith, then I really want to have this army inside. I really do. I am going to end the turn one more time for, before I end this episode. Oh, Rune is sending a lot of armies up north against Dale, though. Lurgan, Juganerth, Captain Sarthersi. They're blocking my port at Minas Triamak again. I'm gonna stop them. On Dosto, man. Two defenses there, and they've all been so close. The first one, when we managed to break them by a knife's edge. And now, today, the second battle of Ondosta, we actually had quite the army. We had quite the army, but we still almost failed. Lurgan, can you please get rid of this army for me? I would be so happy if you did. Hordes of the Mounds and Orcs. Okay. Did they lose something? No. Uh, 
Northern Dunedain are closing in to, to Tharbad. We don't want them to take it. We want that region for ourselves. Faction destroyed. Anduin Vale have perished. They are no more. Doesn't matter too much to us, though. Uh, Granite Change, the only building that got completed. Get the armor, please. Get the armor, and then when we're done with the armor, I want to go for the Numenorian armor straight away because I want to get the best possible armor in this area. I really want to. On Dosto, we have retrained some forces. We're now back to some kind of strength again, which is good. We're getting the castle as well. That's going to help us a great deal if we get an attacked again by Dale. We have two. We have three grand to spend. Um, let's spend the rest of the money on getting new units here. These elites: Shield Guard, Balakath Axe Guard. Get them here, and we can even afford one elite unit over at Karas Farason as well. Uh, get the Numenorian Shield Guard. We should also try and get the archer range. But before we do that, we want to upgrade this one. So upgrade it and then go for the archer range over at Karas Farason. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed as much as I have. I'm so disappointed on the mistakes I did at Ondosto there with the pikes. Could have really made us lose Ondosto. But we managed to hold it intact. Why did I move the pike like that? It was such an easy victory. I've had so many of those fights before, and this time I, for some reason, wanted to move back with the pikes. I shouldn't have done that. I, I've played a thousand of these kinds of battles that I fought in this episode, and we should have won that battle so much easier than we did. And we are in a weaker state because of my mistake there. But there we go, we did manage to prevail though, which is good. That's the most important thing. Uh, because then we can still, we don't, well, technically, if we did lose on Dosto, if we, I mean, this is a place where we don't have too much strength. We could lose it. If Dale focused this region totally, we're likely going to lose it eventually. We're living on a knife's edge here. And if we lose it, uh, we could try and claim it back, um, but then it might actually be more worthwhile if Ruin takes this region. So that we can focus everything we've got with the Kingdom of Farasindil on the Darwinian faction instead. Let's just focus everything here. We are going to move out in the beginning of the next episode as well with uh, Gimelkad along with most of this army towards Karvarad, the large town over there. Continue pushing west with him. And in the east, we are gathering strength. We should maybe be able to move soon as well. We, I mean, look at the forces that we have here. Steel bows, seafarers, some spears, royal guard. We are getting the cohorts retrained and the shield guard and Balaketh axe guard is being recruited as well. So we might have enough to move out. But then again, we are boarding them here as well. They could move from the south and attack me as well. So we need to leave some garrison behind when we move north. But north we will move to. The, beginning with this castle and then trying to take this one. And then lastly trying to take Tharbad itself. So interesting. So flippin' interesting this campaign. I love it so much. And I love it so much because you guys love it so much. It really is the truth. I'm also going to toggle the fog of war quickly and take a look at how things are going here. Because Mordor and Isengard are at war with each other. Just want to see what is going on. Aldeburg has been taken by Mordor. Over here, Mordor is laying siege to Entwade. And yeah, they could attack Edras as well. But, uh, I mean, the, you know what? This might actually be good because now that Isengard and Mordor are at war with each other, Gondor might have a chance to rest a bit. Well, maybe not. They still have hordes and hordes of armies over there. But uh, it will help Gondor a bit, the fact that uh, Mordor and Isengard are at war with each other. 
might help them survive just long enough for me to ally with them and switch sides to get their units. Might just be enough. Hopefully it is. And cut as far as somewhere going for the Dark Shrine. Get the city and get the upgrade before we get the archer range, honestly. We're going to try and rush for the maximum shrines at Karasfarason and over at Minas Tremak, where we can get these units. Um, it's impossible to end these flipping episodes. I cannot end them. It's insane. I always have something new to discover and talk about all the time. But we're going to rush. <laughs> we're going to rush for the Dark Temples uh, in these regions to unlock the Marksmen and the Executioners. Can't wait to see them. Have a glorious day, guys. Bye-bye.